Hello! Today I will show you how to do conversions between BTC and RBTC using the PoPeg protocol. So, let's have an overview what you are doing now. First of all, you need to have a BTC wallet with a legacy address. To be a legacy address is very important. I will use Electron here. You need to have BTCs in this legacy address, so send some for this wallet. Then you will discover the BTC address from RSK Peg using my crypto. After you will send Bitcoin to the RSK Peg address and wait some hours. Meanwhile, you can get your BTC private key on Electron and get our BTC address using your BTC private key. After some hours, you can use your RBCs. I strongly recommend you trying the two-way peg on the testnet first, before doing it on mainnet. At this moment, the minimum amount of the process is 0.01 BTCs. So, you must be careful not to do something wrong and lose your real funds. We are using Electron, so I came to the Electron website and I'm doing the download now. In the download page, we have many options. I'm using the Windows Portable version. I save it in the folder CRSK Electro. Because we would like to run it on testnet, we need to do it on the terminal. So I came to the terminal on my folder and I will run the electron with the parameter testnet. Choose OutConnect next the default, default wallet next here is the default tool we are creating a standard wallet next and we are creating a wallet using a new seed this is a new wallet next and this is the most important part. You need to choose the legacy option, okay? Don't forget the legacy option. Next. And here I have my seed phrase or my mnemonic. This is the most important part of your wallet. Copy it and save it in a safe place. I'm putting here in the notepad and I'm showing to you because I'm teaching you. But don't show your seat for anyone, okay? Next. And I need to paste, paste here and to copy it again and paste. Okay, next. And I can encrypt my wallet with a password. Next. And here is my wallet. I will enable the update check too. And I know I am in the testnet mode. This is the faucet to get some bitcoins of testnet. So I need to solve the addition, paste my address, and the amount is 0.01 BTCs. Send. Oh, I get some error, I will try again. This is 9, address, and the value. Yes. Here we are, I have a transaction, and the Electron said that I have a transaction too, and 
sometimes we got errors, no problem, try again. But we need to have more than 0 0.01 because I need to send 0 0.01 and I need to pay the miner fee. So I need to do this process again. Ah, you can use the block cipher to check your address and your balance. Here we are. I only have 1.01. It's unconfirmed yet. So I need to wait more. I'll come back. Look at that. I went to the block explorer one more time. And now I have 0. 0.02 BTCs. So we can go to the next step. Now we need to know the BTC address for RSK pack. One option to do it is using my crypto. So I am in my crypto. I go to the tools, interact with contracts. And I will change the network to RSK testnet because we are doing testnet now. And the contract here I have the bridge contract, I need this. And I will interact with the contract. Here I have the get federation address, I need this. So I will read this, and this is the address, the destination address. I need to send BTC for this address in order to get RBTCs. Now we need to send the Bitcoins to the PEG address, which we have because we got before. So I come back to the Electron, and I am in the send Tap. Here I will paste the address of the PEG Bitcoin and the amount here is in milli Bitcoins. So 0 0.01 Bitcoins is equal to 10 milli Bitcoins. It's it. Click on pay. Confirm with your password. And send. Payment sent. Now we need to wait at least 100 confirmations of Bitcoin. It means that we need to wait more than 16 hours. So I'll be back. The RBTCs will be sent to address generated using the same private key we should use it to send the BTCs, so we need to know the private key. Here in Electron, I'm going to the menu Wallet, Private Keys, Export. Put your password and the private key you be generated here. I will copy only the address and the private key. I don't need to export so I can cancel. And I'm saving the information here. You can check this is the same address. So this is the private key. I will use the private key without the prefix. It's only this. To you know your RBTC address, you can use a package in our GitHub. I'm here in the utils, Apple. Release and download the build. I save it here in my CRSK folder and rename it for RSK YouTube's build. So I will subtract it here, go to the build folder and click on index.html. Use your private key to discover your address. 
So here I paste my private key and click on transform. So this is my RSK address. I will save it and now I need to wait my RBCs. You can check your address and your balance on the Explorer. So I came here on the explorer.testnet.rsk.co and I will paste my address. But before, here is my address. I need to add the 0x in the beginning because this is a hexadecimal address. So now I can use this in the Explorer. And great, here is my account and I have 0.01 RBCs. One way to use your RBCs, your T RBCs, is using MetaMask. So I have my private key. Note that this is the RSK private key. And here in MetaMask, I will go to add account, create account, import account. Paste the private key. And then here I have 0.01 TRBCs. I can send it, I can do what I would like to do. So, is this? I hope you learn how to transform your BTCs in RBCs. In the next video, I will show the other process. So, I have my RBCs and I will convert in BTCs again. See you next time!